Why are you chasing the thing that drove your father crazy? You stole it. Then you stole it. And then I stole it. It's called capitalism. A few times in my life I've seen things. It's so bad, I want to give you a zero. What's up guys, it's your boy Benny. Unlike Disney and Lucasfilm, I'm going to begin my commentary on Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny by honoring what came before me by, of course, shouting out the Critical Drinker and Nerd Roddick and their interesting tweets concerning the people who are now beginning to see Indiana Jones as a complete and total failure a corpse to be raped by the woke, the necrophiliacs inside of our corporate media who simply want to take the creativity and the wonderlust of a bygone era and milk it for money. There are only three Indiana Jones films, Raider of the Lost Ark, Temple of Doom, and the Last Crusades. Trust me, says Nerd Roddick. The Critical Drinker says, ouch! because people are beginning to see this movie and review this movie, Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny review. A shabby counterfeit of a priceless treasure. Two out of five. Ford gives it his all, but while three original films moved like page turners, this fifth installment is painfully short of spark. Now, this movie doesn't come out until uh, J June, so we've, we're going to have to wait to see it, but... The people who are watching it now, the reviewers and the critics who get a chance to actually see the film and review it, are saying that this is going to be total and complete hot garbage. It belongs in a museum! Along with this tweet, I fought the Nazis, you know, and you stole from indigenous people, too. Actual dialogue from Indiana Jones 5. So, I don't know if this is actually true. This is up on a, this is up on a Reddit page. I'm not sure if this is if this went viral. I'm not sure if this is actually a line from the film. But my God, we do know that this film is actually woke. And it gives me great pleasure to report to you that the reviews are terrible for this thing. And by the way, the reviews that are pouring in for this piece of garbage uh, are the ones that are the paid-for access media types who get paid to simp for big corporations like Disney so that they can get little swag bags and gifts in the mail. Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny takes jab at capitalism. You stole it, then you stole it, then I stole it. Inside of the trailer, which I actually found something out that's very interesting here. Hold on, I can't wait to share it with you. There is a line inside of the official trailer by Lucasfilm, by Disney, where the main characters say, you stole it, uh, according to the uh, about the dial of destiny, right? The 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 Nazi artifact, the artifact that the Nazis want. They can't come up with a a bad uh, a g criminal uh, agency to actually fight Indiana Jones. They have to go back to the Nazis. The year is 1969, and they still have to use the Nazis as the antagonist here. Then you stole it. Then I stole it. That's called capitalism. Got it? Ha 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 ha. But um. But you see, something very interesting happened on the way down to the Woke store. And I want to pause, because I wanna, I'm going to get to reviews here in just a minute. But I want to pause to show you something that I thought was very interesting as I tried to watch this trailer. Check this out. So this is uh, popping over to Chrome, where I have an extension. Uh, I have a different browser when I'm doing articles that blocks all pop-ups. Here on Chrome, I have an extension uh, that allows me to go in and to check the dislikes on a trailer, right? So I can go through and I can click on, this was a trailer released in December. And I can see that there are dislikes, close to 100,000 dislikes on this really short snippet of the original uh, trailer released by Disney here for Indiana Jones 5. So you have a one, so you have two likes to every one dislike. That's really bad ratio for one of their marquee properties here, one of the most beloved uh, adventure series of all time, with some of the most beloved characters of all time, including they brought, they brought back this guy from the grave, speaking of mummies that have been exhumed uh, from their tombs. So then I went over here and I clicked on the most recent one, the most recent trailer, 
And what you'll find here, and there's the trailer, of course, that everyone talked about, what you find here is something I've never seen before, which is the likes and dislikes have been completely disabled by Disney. Likes and dislikes disabled by owner. Do you see that? So even my extension browser uh, for Chrome that works on virtually all videos uh, has been removed here. So you can't see the likes if you click like and you can't see the dislikes. You click dislikes and it says this has been communicated to the content owner. Feedback shared with creator. <laughs> what does this mean? So uh, Google sends me, Google effectively sends me to this page, you know, talking about well, like a creator page inside of its, you know, inside of its Google systems. So th th what I'm left to assume here is that they turned off all of the feedback mechanisms for this trailer. Google went and turned them all off, the likes and the dislikes. That's how scared they are of actual feedback, which they are finally getting now, in the form of the critics. Again, these are the people that are supposed to be paid to say nice things about the film. They're the only people who've seen it. It's not released in theaters for months from now. But they're saying 38% <laughs> tomato meter, uh, according to Geek Vibes Nation. Dial of Destiny still has a lot of reviews to go, but it's looking like this film might be one of the worst reviewed of the franchise. Indiana Jones Dial of Destiny premiered at Kane's in the early reviews confirming everything I feared. There's only one truly positive review. The rest are three out of five C's or lower. Yikes. Even if professional critics are struggling to heap praise, it's going to get even worse. And some of these reviews are ab absolutely destructive. Check this out. Ultimately, it feels like a counterfeit of a priceless treasure. The shape and gleam of it might be superficially convincing for a bit, but the shabbier craftsmanship gets all the more glaring the longer you look. Brutal from a guy named Robbie Collins, the Daily Telegraph inside of the United Kingdom. In and Jones, The Dial of Destiny debuts with a Rotten Tomato score of 33. Ugh, yikes. Early reviews for Indiana Jones, Dial of Destiny is at 43. Oh, got to get those numbers up, Disney. So the people, the, the shills that get paid to go in and write nice reviews by Disney have gone in and tried to up that number a little bit, but they're still getting absolutely devastated. Let's read some of the top ones here. It's really interesting. The de-aging and other CGI manipulations of Ford Body only serve to demonstrate the Dial of Destiny. She wants to turn back the clock instead of doing something new. Ouch. Boom. It's sad and safe ending for a series that once prided itself on big escapades, larger than life emotions. Dial of Destiny shows that some relics should stay buried. Boom, shakalaka. It's an improvement on the execrable crystal skull, but this is both tame and unnecessary. The jokes and zest and exuberance just aren't there. So instead of a joyous send off for our beloved hero, we get a depressing reminder of how much livelier his past adventures were. Boom goes the dynamite. Ouch. 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 Listen to this from the BBC. Indiana Jones, Dial of Destiny, gloomy and depressing final act. Ugh. A depressing reminder of how much livelier his past adventures were. This thing is getting brutalized. It's woke. Apparently, they, uh, uh, they like, absolutely torch capitalism in this thing. They do identity politics with Indiana Jones. Why? Why do the cultural necrophiliacs need to destroy... Need to hurt Indiana Jones in the afternoon nap. <laughs> Should have been the poster. Why do they always need to go? And here's the uh, Reddit post that that has gone viral. We'll see if this this line actually exists in the movie when it comes out. I fought the Nazis, you know, and you stole from indigenous people too. Why do cultural necrophiliacs need to go and rape, and molest, and destroy? the things that have been built by greater men that came before them. Well, because they can't come up with anything new. Because communism is devoid of art or purpose. There is no good art in communist regimes. There is no good creativity. Go check any of the cities built or designed during the Soviet Union. They are garbage. They're hot garbage. All the pretty structures inside of Russia or China, those were all built hundreds of years ago, not during the communist eras. These people lack any soul or any morality or any drive or any vibe. Any ability to actually search or reach for something better or greater than themselves. They are dreary, depressed, 
sad people. And they have every right to live in that little microcosm. That if they can choose depression, that's fine for them. But stop destroying our treasures. Things that were created by people that actually had real spark. Steven Spielberg, George Lucas, who created the original Indiana Jones, uh, they created a masterpiece and it belongs in a museum. It's your boy Benny. Very rare cultural review here, but I don't really care about this stuff. Like, share, subscribe if you want to end the communism that is destroying uh, our cultural fabric and lore. See ya.